field of six now lined up behind the gate for the 1970 Yonkers Kane Futurity three-year-old pace purse of $102,770. From the rail out, Columbia George, True Lock. Then it's Hanover Rainbow, Most Happy Fellow. John Hanover and Sheik. They are ready for the start of the 1970 Kane Futurity and Trulock has made an early break. Trulock is off stride before the start. And here is the start of the 1970 Kane Futurity. They're off and pacing between horses. Most happy fella going out for Stanley Dancer. Sheik on the outside. Columbia George now fires up at the rail and takes over. Three of them battle it out early. Adam Rainbow has come away fourth. Two and a half, three back. John Hanover and far back it is Trulock after that early break. And now from the outside as they move on to the back stretch for the first time. Sheik takes over. Columbia George back to second. Opening quarter, 28 and four. They continue up the back stretch and Sheik has cleared. Columbia George second. Here comes Stanley Dancer rolling up with most happy fella now. Gap of two lanes out over Rainbow. And then it's a gap of five. John Hanover far back. It is True Luck. And they are moving now down to the stretch for the first time. And most happy fella has taken command. Back to second. Sheik and Columbia George is once again on the move third. They move into the stretch. It's most happy fella for Stanley Dancer. On the outside, Columbia George now looks to retake. Sheik is at the rail third. Out of a rainbow, getting into it fourth. A half in 58 and four. And they move for the far turn. And now leading it, Columbia George by two lanes. Most happy fella at the rail second. Out of a rainbow, the outside, racing third. Sheik is on the inside. Length and a half back, John Hanover. And still trailing, it is True Lock. They move on to the back stretch for the final time. In control by a length and a half to Columbia George. Out of a rainbow, the outside. At the rail, most happy fella. And followed there by Sheik. Then a gap of two, John Hanover. And far back, it is True Lock three quarters in 128 and four. They are on a record pace. And leading at Columbia George. Out of a rainbow, the outside. Most happy fella will need racing room. Length and a half back. In racing and fourth, it is Sheik who looks to close in once again. Top of the stretch, they turn for home. And Columbia George will be tested now. Swinging to the outside. Most happy fella closing in for Stanley Dancer. He's the strong horse. At the rail, Sheik is coming back. Most happy fella, Sheik Columbia George. Most happy fella wins the 1970 Kane Futurity three-year-old pace in a new track record. Ladies and gentlemen, the field of three-year-old pacers in behind the starting gate for the 25th racing of the Little Brown Jug. Here they come. Sports classic three-year-olds in behind that starting gate. They were off fan pacing, driving out. Most happy fellow on the outside, Leander Lobel down along the rail and Keystone Pat is third. Most happy fella drives for that lead. Leander LaBelle on the inside, Shriek third at the rail, Keystone Pat is fourth. Barrick Hanover fifth, Steady Star is sixth, and Columbia George is seventh as they go to the quarter mile mark. That's Most Happy Fella leading the way by a length and a half. Keystone Pat drives up on the outside. Leander LaBelle is third, and they move past the quarter mile mark with Keystone Pat reaching that station in 28 and 2 fifths seconds. Keystone Pat in front of length. Racing in second, most happy fella out and driving now, coming back for the lead with Leander Lobel moving right along on the outside. Shriek is fourth, down along the rail, Farrick Hanover fifth, Steady Star is sixth. Most happy fella leading Leander Lobel as they come to the stretch for the first time. It's most happy fella, Leander Lobel on the outside. Keystone Pat third, Shriek now moves up at the half mile mark, and also on the move is Farrick Hanover in fifth. Steady Star sixth, Columbia George seventh on the outside. Axel Hanover is eighth, Kentucky ninth. Race time boy is tenth, and Judge is eleventh. Most happy fella moves to the back stretch. The half was in 58 seconds, three eighths to go, and most happy fella leads three quarters of a length. On the outside, Leander Lobel is second by three quarters. Down along the rail, Keystone Pat is third. Shriek is fourth, driving up now. Columbia George moving right with him is Ferry Canover. In the final quarter, after three quarters in 126 and four fifths, most happy fella leads the way. Closing on the outside, Ferry Canover. Columbia George moves with him. They turn for home, and at the head of the stretch, most happy fella by two and a half lengths. Ferrick Hanover is second, Columbia George on the outside, Keystone Pat down at the rail. It is Most Happy Fella showing the way in the first seat of the jug. Most Happy Fella by two and three quarter lengths. And
Canadian home for stand dancer in one minute, 57 and one fifth seconds. The 1970 Delaware Classic might well have been billed as one of the races of the century. As it turned out, it may very well go down in history as just that anyway. Post parade for the second heat of the Little Brown Judge. Field in behind the starting gate for the second heat of the Little Brown Jug. Most happy fellow, by virtue of his victory in the first heat, has the rail. Here they come. They are off fan pacing, driving out for that lead, Ferrick Hanover. On the outside, Leander Lobel, and down along the inside, Most Happy Fella. Most Happy Fella takes the lead, Ferrick Hanover second, Columbia George drops in third, Axel Hanover is fourth, Leander Lobel is fifth. To the backstretch with Most Happy Fella showing the way, Ferrick Hanover is second, Driver Dancer looks back to see who his challenger is, and it's Leander Lobel moving up on the outside. Leander Lobel drives four and gets the lead as they go to the quarter, reaching that station in 28 and one-fifth seconds, Leander Lobel in front. Most Happy Fella second, Columbia George driving up on the outside, now second, and Most Happy Fella is third. Ferrick Hanover fourth, Axel Hanover fifth, Steady Star is sixth as they come to the stretch, Keystone Pat is seventh. Leading the way now, it's Columbia George, a neck in front, coming to the half, Leander Lobel is second, most happy fellow, third, Ferry Hanover is fourth. Columbia George shows the way past the half mile mark in 57 and two fifth seconds. Leander Lobel is second, most happy fellow, third. Ferry Hanover fourth, Axel Hanover is fifth, Steady Star is sixth, Keystone Pat seventh. Racing in eighth is Race Time Boy, then in ninth, Kentucky, and Judge is tenth. Going to the back stretch, Columbia George leads, and now Leander Lobel drives out. Most happy fella is third as they go to the three quarters. Leading the way down the back stretch, Columbia George with Leander Lobel on the outside second. Racing third on the inside, Axel Hanover. Most happy fella is fourth, three quarters and 128. Around the turn, leading the way, Columbia George, but here comes Most Happy Fella. Up on the outside, Leander Lobel third at the rail, Ferry Hanover is fourth as they turn for home. Axel Hanover fifth. Columbia George on the inside, Most Happy Fella, and Leander Lobel. Columbia George with Most Happy Fella coming at him. Columbia George holding on, and Columbia George wins the second year of Jung in 157 and 3 after that first mile in 157 and 1. Reel in behind the gate for the third and decisive heat of the Little Brown Jug. Here they come. A Roth Van Pacing driving out fast on the inside. Columbia George, Ferrick Hanover, Most Happy Fella, and Leander Lobel with Steady Star fifth, Keystone Pat sixth, and Kentucky seventh. Going to the backstretch, Columbia George in front a length. Most happy fella second, and once again, Leander Lobel drives up on the outside. Racing with the lead, Columbia George, Leander Lobel right there second on the outside, and most happy fella is third. In fourth as they go to the quarter is Ferrick Hanover. First quarter in 28 and three, Leander Lobel in front on the outside. Columbia George second along the rail, moves back in front now by a half a length. Leander Lobel is second, most happy fella third at the rail. Ferrick Hanover is fourth. Steady Star is fifth, Keystone Pat sixth, and Kentucky. Into the stretch coming to the half, Columbia George has the lead. Leander Lobel moves up on the outside in second and down along the inside. Most happy fella is third. Past the half in 57 and 4 fifth seconds, the leader, Columbia George, on the outside in second is Leander Lobel and down there along the rail, most happy fella third. Larry Canover fourth, Steady Star is fifth. Three eighths to go, leading the way, Columbia George, right there second on the outside is Leander Lobel, and most happy fellow third down along the rail. As they go to the three quarter mile mark, it is Columbia George with the lead, Leander Lobel second, most happy fellow third, 128 to the three quarters, and here comes Kentucky ranging up on the outside, now fourth. Around the final turn, Columbia George the leader, most happy fellow clear and driving. It's Columbia George, most happy fella. Down along the inside, Ferrick Hanover is third and steady star four. Columbia George on the inside, most happy fella on the outside. Most happy fella coming on. With most happy fella getting up and winning the little brown jug over Columbia George and the mile in 157 and three fifths. 
And never before in the whole wide world have harness racing fans seen three such heats. Field of six three-year-old pacers now lined up behind the gate for the 1970 Messenger Stakes, the third and final jewel in the Triple Crown for Pacers. From the rail out, Leander Lobel, Adover Rainbow, Trulock, Columbia George, Ferry Canover, and a most happy fellow who looks to win the Triple Crown for 1970 with this Messenger Stakes victory. And they're off and pacing. From the outside, most happy fellow going for the top. Leander Lobel right there at the rail, Adover Rainbow drives up. Then we come back to Trulock, settling in at the rail, Columbia George, and trailing early, it's Ferry Canover in the field of six. They move on the clubhouse turn for the first time, straighten out onto the backstretch. On the inside, Leander Lobel leads it half a length. Out of a rainbow, puts the pressure on from the outside. Racing third, two lanes back, it is True Luck. Columbia George fourth. Most happy fellow parked out early in fifth and at the rail, Ferry Canover. They went a quarter mile in 28 and four. They continue up the backstretch and head for the far turn. And still, Leander Lobel holding off the challenge of that over rainbow. Trulock racing third on the outside. Now moving up, Columbia George getting into it, followed by Ferry Canover and Most Happy Fellow still at the back of the pack. They are on the turn and now moving into the stretch for the first time. On the inside with the lead, Leander Lobel up three wide. Here comes Trulock and between horses, Adover Rainbow of battle as they move into the stretch for the first time. And still Leander Lobel by a length. Three wide, here comes Trulock between horses, Adover Rainbow and Columbia George racing in the center of the race track now comes on ferry canover at the rail and most happy fella still about four lanes off the lead half mile time 58 and four they head for the clubhouse turn for the final time now with the lead true lock at the rail the outside columbia george is driving up leander lobel is third out of a rainbow the outside fourth followed there at the rail by ferry canover and most happy fella still at the back of the pack as they move on to the back stretch for the final time with the lead true lock three parts of a length columbia george on the outside, a challenge. Third at the rail, Leander Lobel. Now getting into it fourth, Ferry Canover, followed by Most Happy Fella. He's gearing up. At the back now is Anna Rainbow. They head for the final turn, three quarters in 129 and one. And with the lead on the inside, True Luck, Columbia George hanging tough on the outside. Leander Lobel is at the rail. Second over, racing in fourth there. It's Ferry Canover, followed by Most Happy Fella. He's still three and a half off the lead. Far back, Anna Rainbow. They hit the top of the stretch for the final time in the 1970 Messenger Stakes. And True Luck will look to take it all the way here. On the outside, Columbia George, Leander Lobel, Ferry Canover, four outside. Most Happy Fellow with a lot of ground to make up, but he's kicking in gear now. It's True Luck. Here comes Most Happy Fellow, Columbia George, battling back between horses. Most Happy Fellow, True Luck on the inside. Most Happy Fellow will win the 1970 Messenger Stakes and capture the Triple Crown for Pacers.